here on Prize Picks. Before I get started, though, there is a link in the description below to sign up for Prize Picks. Prize Picks will match 100% of your first deposit. Also, there's a Discord link, crazy community that we're building in there, and then Patreon link as well, where I post bonus plays and more plays than I do as opposed to this YouTube video in there every single day. So, again, check those links out in the description below. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not gambling advice. These are just the plays that I'm personally looking at making. Uh, but coming off a night where we did hit on all of our picks, Kevin Gosman uh, pushed here six strikeouts. He had exactly six. So this is, uh, I guess, a voided play here, just no play, which we'll take. I'll take the push here better than the loss. Um, we hit on Jacob deGrom less than 95 and a half pitches thrown. He had 87, and we hit on Paul Goldschmidt, eight and a half hitter fantasy score. He had 41 went absolutely crazy but i'm gonna give three total player props that i do like um on the mlb slate today currently at the time of this video there are no dodger props up right now right on price picks and i really liked some dodger props today so just keep that in mind i'm honestly looking at a freddie freeman and a trey turner and a mookie bets you know their hitter fantasy scores are total bases so if you're in the discord check out the discord link or actually, I might even post to the Patreon as well, probably. But um, I do like those props as well when those do drop. But at the time of this video, I need to get this video out. And there's no Dodger props. So we're not going with those right now. But I do really like them today. I would probably have at least one of them in this video um, if they were already available. But three props that I like. And will be Slate. Slate is tighter today than normal, in my opinion. Just keep that in mind. It's important to note to tail lightly. Extreme volatility. Uh, mix and match these so but let's get into it first play i like is tyler anderson this just dropped to five so i have to take the over here on this one now five strikeouts i'm taking the more it's uh, technically over but i'm taking more here tyler anderson over five strikeouts he just faced miami in, in los angeles and he had six strikeouts pitched extremely well we actually had his over fantasy score in this game he went seven innings one earned run and had six k's against miami so I'm going right back to it. I'm taking strikeouts here because the prop is at five. And this actually just dropped from six to five, like I said. But Miami actually hits worse against lefties at home than they do on the road. Right. So this is Miami in the last. This is from July 1st. So Miami in the last 40, 45 days or so, probably like almost 50 days. Lefties batting average is 173. So their batting average in the league is dead last against lefties at 173. And their strikeout percentage is at 32.4 since July 1st. So you cannot get a better spot here for Tyler Anderson. He obviously having a great year, 13 and 2, 2.73 ERA. Uh, he's hit, you know, five's the line, so he needs six. You can see just this season, I mean, he's hit six numerous times, right? This is a pitcher that has ability to go over six Ks with ease. He had this month of May where he went seven, seven, eight, and six strikeouts multiple times but the matchup just doesn't get any better than this you could also go um, pitcher fantasy score here at 36 and a half but i just love the strike strikeouts here it was at six it dropped to five you love to see it. i'm taking the over here tyler anderson five strikeouts more uh, the next play is going to be another strikeout prop and it's going to be justin Steele. and i'm going to go to here take the over on this one of six or more of six here against milwaukee he just faced milwaukee and he had nine strikeouts against them, right? Six innings and nine Ks and 89 pitches. He only gave us zero earned runs. Great line for him there. And in the middle, beginning of July, he faced Milwaukee before as well, and he had nine strikeouts against them. And then before again, he faced Milwaukee, had six strikeouts against them. And he's faced Milwaukee here, he had four strikeouts, and then faced Milwaukee here, he had five strikeouts. So, But again, earlier in the season, he didn't have as long of a leash. He's really a bona fide, full-fledged starter now for this uh, Chicago Cubs team. In Milwaukee, similarly to um, Miami, strikes out a ton against lefties as of late, right? A ton. So they're third in baseball over the last, since July 1st, with a 30.1% strikeout percentage against lefties. Their batting average is near the bottom of the league, too, right here at 0.187. A great matchup for Justin Steele. Coming off back-to-back -back games against this team where he struck out nine and his prop is only sitting at six. I'm thinking at bare minimum, this is a push for us. Both these plays are at bare minimum a push, in my opinion. Justin Steele over six strikeouts and Tyler Anderson over five strikeouts. Taking the over on both of these, I just think great, great value here for both these plays at 6.0 and 5.0. Um, five and a half, six and a half would make these a little bit different. I still take the over, but because these bumped down, I'm taking both the overs of five and six for these plays. And then, like I said, I, if the Dodger props were available, and I don't think they still are. Right, yeah, see, let's refresh this board, actually, just to make sure about this, because, uh, I mean, I understand the reasoning, because there is no, um, 
there's no pitcher yet out for the Miami Marlins, so Prize Picks team doesn't know who the Dodgers are going to be facing, if it's a righty or a lefty. So I guess that does, yeah, see. So no Dodger props available yet. But I'm going to go, um, again, I would take here Wookie, Trey, or Freddie in some capacity. Just keep that in mind. I will be posting to the Patreon what, who I end up taking there. But I'm going to go Austin Riley here, and I'm going to take his total bases. Now, I, I might even take his hitter fantasy score because it's only at eight here, but we're going to go with Austin Riley. We'll go his total bases here at one and a half. So I'm going to take this one here. He has been in a slump. That's why it's a little interesting here for Austin Riley. Over his last, in the month of August, he's hitting 211. Over his last 15 days, he's hitting 173. So this is a super slump for him. He's hitting, he's still hitting 284 on the season, but definitely in a slump right now, definitely in a funk. But I like this as a bounce back game for him because he is facing Jose Quintana here. And Jose, or sorry, Austin Riley against Jose. He's, you know, faced him three times. He's got zero hits, no, no stats against him head to head. But Jose Quintana is a left-handed pitcher. And Austin Riley against lefties is just pretty much a guaranteed rake, right? So Austin Riley, since July 1st against lefties, hits 514, has five home runs, 13 RBIs. 19 hits in 41 plate appearances. It's just his stats against lefties. He's the best left-handed hitting, left hitting pitcher. He's the best right-handed hitting hitter against lefties um, in baseball. So I think it's a smash spot here for Austin Riley. You could go eight, eight hitter fantasy score as well. I think both of these um, are strong plays. I'm going to get both of them. I would say go with your gut on which one you prefer more here. Um, again, toss up for one and a half TV and a hitter fantasy score is tough, um, but I, I like him as a hitter a lot today. So those are the three player props I have. Tyler Anderson over strikeouts, uh, Justin Steele over strikeouts, and then Austin Riley, either eight hitter fantasy score or TB. Let me know in the comments below how you guys feel about these props. Again, I will post more plays in the Patreon. As always, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on this video, and as always, have a great day.